Yo, 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 what's going on, baby, baby? <laughs> Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, TVKC, all that other good shit. What's going on with y'all? <sighs> this one right here. A lot of questions. A lot of times I talk to people who end up getting uh, dogs from me about this topic. It's very important. Um, every dog, you know, has a different temperament. And uh, when it comes to temperament, we have to be, first of all, evaluate the puppy to see what that puppy's temperament is because, you know, a lot of times they're going into family homes. Now, once you've got you a good stable, stable puppy and you have babies, we'll start off with the little babies, the little guys, the infants, even if you're introducing an infant to the home. Let the dog, you know, one of my tricks have been throughout the years, and I picked this up from a couple other people is, I give the baby's clothing to the dog, like wherever the dog sleeps at in his crate or whatever. I'll give it, you know, I'll give him, I'll get a blanket or something, let the baby sleep with that blanket and uh, give it to the dog and let the dog get used to the baby scent and start to bond with it that way. Then I, you know, I, I gently uh introduce the baby to the dog and uh say like it was with uh with poop or easy the way i the way i typically was doing it was just like um you know i carried them around a lot still you know still do and when i give commands the dog gets a certain it's a it's a mental thing but the dog gets a thing to always see this baby above them and they see me giving the commands and they see me holding the baby and they start to get it in their mind that, okay, this baby has some kind of authority over me. And follow me on this. And the more it goes, as they get older, I let, I let the baby get involved with, uh, with my training of the dogs. You know, when I tell the dog to sit, a lot of times I would tell Poop, tell him to sit. You know, tell him to sit. And then as I feed the dogs, a lot of times what I would do is I would make the dogs wait and I would let poop feed them, you know, and it's a, you know, he make a mess, whatever. <laughs> but they, they started to see that poop mimicked a lot of the same roles that I mimicked. And so, you know, then as he got older, it became a thing of, you know, he, he bonded more and more with them. But if they ever start to run or whatever around the kids, you sit them down. You don't yell at them because you don't want to start them. You have the dog sit down. You have the dog lay down. You have the dog. Now, laying is a big thing because laying is a submissive position. As they lay down, I will let the kids pet them and stuff. And then I would tell uh, Poop or whether it was Stink to, you know, to give them a command, whether it was sit, you know, lay, whatever it may be. And the same drills that I was doing, I would have the kids do those drills with them at all times being right there though, you know, because the dog knows that I'm the alpha. So he starts to see that this is junior alpha here. And with going through these processes, you know, of training, letting the dog know that the kids can handle their food. Now I say that with this, always get the kids understanding that, yes, this is our routine, but don't mess with the dogs while they're eating. You know, my dogs, you can do it, but some dogs you can't, and you should always teach your kids, don't mess with a dog while they're eating. But you want to get the dog on a routine of taking commands from the kid. You want to get your dog on a routine of being gentle. <coughs> Excuse me. Being gentle around your kids. And, you know, and first... And first and foremost, always respect the kids' areas and respect the kids' you know, um, sensitivity. And what I mean by that is, is teaching your dogs in a gentle capacity how to be gentle with the, uh, with the babies. Now, some do it naturally, but some you have to ease them into it. And a lot of times it's that thing I told you about petting, laying, letting them walk slowly, letting the baby, you know, letting the baby interact with them in a slow way you are training your dog how to interact with your child but always supervise these things second to this uh thing and i'm trying to make this video short so i guarantee i'm missing a lot of the things but these are just tips uh secondly it's probably the most important thing train your kids because they're kids Kids want to throw blocks at, at people, dogs. They want to pull on the dog's ears. They want to ride the dog's backs. They want to do all these things. You have to teach your kids to respect 
not just your dog, but all dogs. You have to get, a, uh, you know, first and foremost, you have to get them an understanding in their own household how to handle their dog. But then you have to get them an understanding that every dog is not their dog. And this is very important because just like with, with uh, Poop and Mandela, Mandela is a gentle beast at 100 pounds. He'll lay with Poop. Heck, when Poop couldn't get on the bed, Mandela used to let Poop stand on his head and he'd help boost him up. They have a great relationship. Denzel is the same way, you know, and, and at this point in time, even my Dobermans allow Poop to do uh, to do things with him that, you know, normally you wouldn't see a little guy be able to do. But I always, like, really, really, really assert to him that when we go out places, every dog is not your dog. You can't walk up to every dog. You can't treat every dog like it's your dog. You can't reach at them. You can't pet a, uh, pet every dog. And the reason why this is important too, you know, and this is from my training days, is I tell you, especially dogs that don't see little people. And y'all, some of y'all gonna laugh at this because it is funny, but it's like an elephant and a mouse. Little people freak dogs who have not seen babies and stuff. It freaks them the hell out. You see a lot of dogs that when they see a baby, they startle because they're like, what is this little thing? You know, they've only seen adults. And you have to remember that, you know, every dog is not socialized like that. And, you, and some of y'all out there right now thinking, how can you have a dog that ain't seen babies? People, some people don't have babies come around. Some people's kids are adults and they don't have kids and we never see babies. And a dog's lifespan is very, very short. You know what I mean? Compared to ours. So, you know, it might be a couple years, three or four years to go by where babies are not around certain people you know what I mean so their dog has never seen this little person and so when they see this little person it's almost like seeing you know a little clown from it or something <laughs> and they and they look at it aggressively like they do anything else that they're curious about and the kid could start them the kid is coming to play with them and pet them but they're they're scared or they're nervous and what dogs do when they're nervous is a lot of times they lunge out and they bite they attack so to avoid these to avoid these situations we need to let our kids know that every single time you're approaching an animal that you need to be properly introduced don't do it by yourself. If there's an adult in the area, ask the adult, can I touch the dog? And if the, and if the adult says no, you have to respect that. But it's very, very important for all of us to teach our kids, uh, I guess, dog education, uh, how to properly handle the dog, how to be introduced to the dog, not to touch the dog, uh, you know, while they're eating. Also not to pull on the dog's ears, poke them in the eyes and all those other things. They're not horses. You know, uh, I know some kids can jump on their dog's backs, <laughs> but <laughs> they're, that's not what you're supposed to do. But, uh, you know, proper education is going to be a big thing. We don't want any accidents in this community. I definitely won't, don't want to see anything happen to any of these beautiful babies. So please, please, please uh, educate and uh, be responsible as far as socializing your dog and socializing your kids with dogs. Uh, till next time, man, God bless all y'all. Much love. Peace.